Hey guys, JKG here, back with another One Punch Man video and I've been receiving some comments asking me how to build a team. Okay, so team building is not actually super difficult or complex. Um, you just need to have the right combos. So even if like your opponent is higher BP than you, you might still be able to win. Yeah, so... I think the most important thing right now is still speed. So building your characters at fast speed can be really helpful. So my fastest unit is actually King. But I know not all of you have King. So judging from non-limited uh, SSRs, if you have something like a Child Emperor, then he should be your fastest unit because he can potentially stun your opponent's first row units. Or if you want to play a more tanky team build, I've seen people going first for tank top master just for that tenacity on the front row. And then of course if you are using a dot team, then maybe like um, subterranean king or if you have Goribus, and then pair it with vaccine man. Or the combo can go first as well. Yeah, so it actually all depends on what units you have and what combos you can use. So if I sub out King, um, I'm most likely either going maybe like Samurai or even Amai Mask or even another tank. I've seen people using two or even three tanks and they are actually ranked quite front. So if you have Deep Sea King, Deep Sea King is a very good tank. And he can also counter King, especially at core level 4. Yeah, I think King is one of the top tier core units for arena defense. Yeah, he's really strong. He can seal 2 energy right off the bat. So your whole entire team will not be able to attack unless you have this. So this is obviously pay to win <laughs> character. So he's a SR, but yeah, his core is actually pretty good. Grants 3 energy extra at the start of each round and 1 bonus energy. So if you have this, you can potentially counter like a king or a core level 4 deep sea king. But I know of course not everyone has it. So um, mosquito girl core, I don't really see much of people using. Um, for defense, uh, let's see, Dr. Genus, I have seen some, but not a lot as well. Yeah, so this will be a tanky team, a lot of tanks, and then they'll make use of the front row um, character clone. Yeah, so you can summon two clones to replace the dead character. Yeah, it'll make them... Harder to hit at the front, and then the last, the back row three units should be like high damage uh, dealers, DPS units. Yeah, so you can tank the front and then potentially wipe out your enemy using your back row units. So units may be like Atomic plus Golden Ball. This one two punch is still a very relevant combo. Or if you have like limited units, you can go like Metal Knight plus Tatsumaki yeah so if I use a build like this so it's double core so if you are using Child Emperor as your core as I see a lot of people do um, don't forget to put him in the same row as your highest damage dealers so for example I will use Metal Knight first he'll attack first before Tatsumaki for the combo so Metal Knight is when there's more injured units in the opponent team, then Terrible Tornado has a higher crit rate and higher attack, I think, I don't remember, but yeah, it's something. <laughs> yeah, so having Child Emperor go before them, he'll activate the Berserk passive and then these two units will have Berserk. Yeah, so they'll increase their damage. And I actually still use the level 1 core even though I have the level 4 core because if you're using a one turn like your first turn sweep team then this increased ally outs by 30% is actually really useful 
So yeah, you don't necessarily have to use Core Level 2 every time. But Core Level 2 is pretty good as well. So if you have this, um, you can potentially get more energy as well. So when enemies are in Shatter, Child Emperor himself can do Shatter already. So this is almost guaranteed Shatter. <laughs> uh, so one extra energy per round, which is still not too bad yeah the first the novice one will be the same yeah so also depending on your team you can choose whether which level core you want to use but for deep seeking i think always go for the level 4 one will be better okay so mental knight is a limited as well so probably i'll do something like that yeah or maybe a secondary tank like i said yeah, so this can be a pretty okay combo. So if you are focusing on just one type of combo, so like let's say I take out my Metal Knight, I won't have like an injury AoE unit. So Terrible Tornado may not be the best suit for this team. So I can put in something like... Hmm, let's see. Actually, out my mask can be not too bad for this. And maybe I'll put no I think I'm mask no wait. I may put this as the berserk. Like these two units as the berserk units. Hmm. Yeah, so you'll also have to take note of the skills that your character can use because in arena you cannot control is on auto. So, for example, Super Ally Black Luster, the skill, his ultimate, will attack the unit and then enemies around the unit. So, if you are putting him like below, you can only hit 3 units, which is not effective. So, like putting him in the middle, he'll attack the middle enemy and then he'll hit 4 units. Yeah, so things like that you guys have to consider as well. And then for the speed, of course, the position doesn't really matter unless it's in the core trials. Yeah, so in core trial, a lot of units have the same base speed. So swapping them left and right can actually change the speed. Yeah, so I believe the speed goes from like this spot. So 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so if you are putting the unit here then he'll probably go last yeah that's for core trials yeah so other than that i think even if you guys are free to play there are still a lot of strong four star units but for me i didn't really build them <laughs> but beast king is a good unit paired with fukigao so fukigao is actually my go-to high tech um in my chinese server yeah, because I don't really have... I just put Child Emperor, but I haven't built him up yet. So I'm still using Fukigao. So my Fukigao goes first. Then um, he will put injury on a lot of people. Beast King will go ham. Um, keep activating his passive. So Fukigao should go speed number 1. And then other 4 star units. Of course Golden Ball is one of the stronger ones. Are my Mask. And then 4 star tanks. If your Fu Fubuki is at... 5 stars, she's a very effective tank as well for her passive. And then if you want extra damage, you can just throw in a Sky King for the passive. Or if you need another tank, Armored Gorilla, he's not that good, but as a tank, his um, 5 star enhanced passive, I remember it is pretty good. I don't remember whether it's the enhanced passive or the ultra ultimate. I remember one of it is quite good. Yeah, but for tanks, um, 4 star doesn't really have that much of good tanks. Yeah, even Beast King, you probably will build him on attack instead of HP. Yeah, so actually not much tanks you can use only thing I can think of is Fubuki. Of course, if you have the 
um, if you play from the start, your tank top master is probably free. <laughs> so you can choose like tank top, subterranean, and I think it's vaccine man. Although vaccine man is arguably better late game, I think a lot of people still went for tank top master, which is still quite a solid pick. So yeah, tank top the front. Yeah, something like that could be a good team. So you have the injury caused by Fukigao. And then Amaimas can go for any other units that uh, doesn't have injury on them already. Yeah, using his passive. So if you have 5 star and above, that passive will affect everyone, not just monsters. And then Beast King will just keep on attacking, blocking the passive. And Golden Ball will probably go like maybe after Fukigao, after Beast King, after Amai Mask. Well, after. Maybe before Amai Mask. Yeah, but for this kind of lineup, you have to go with Amai Core, which is not too. <laughs> Not too great, so if you're using this kind of team, you might want to save your ulti for Amai Mask so that he can take out one person and then he can get the 6 energy and then second turn you can do your combos. Yeah, and then for Dot team, if you exchanged for Vaccine Man instead, then you probably would put in Konbu Vaccine Man as well for that. Vaccine Man should always go after the dot units to proc his passive what are the good dps i mean uh dot unit blue fire is not too bad and then of course your tanks at the front and then your core i'm still not very sure what core to put janos increase attack and light attack by 10 percent pretty bad when your characters are in berserk you gain two energy pretty bad uh, mine might still be a better core <laughs> or maybe Dr. Genus yeah so I'm kind of starting to ramble a bit but yeah this is basically how you kind of build your team you see what your team is capable of doing first like um, which debuffs they can do so maybe you classify them spot how many of each category you can use so if you are looking at this oh wait oh shit it's been changed <laughs> okay let me change it back yeah so this is my team so if you are looking at this you sh if you've been playing long enough you should be able to tell what they do yeah so this guy core and shatter injury shatter seal and first attack shatter injury injury shatter injury and single target DPS, single target DPS, and a bit of heal as well. Tank. This one is a cross shape attack, but nothing too special. Injury, and then passive follow up on injury. Uh, this is dot with passive follow up on duelist attacks. So I used to run a atomic plus. Oh no, sorry. This is follow up on burn. Follow up on Duelist is this one. I used to run these two together. Yeah, they are doing quite a lot of follow ups, which is pretty good. This one is AoE Injury, not too bad. Tank with Ally Tenacity. First hit Shatter. Second hit a Big Nuke. This one, inter Internal Injury. This one, Tenacity. Dot. Increase Attack. Heal. Dot. Yeah, so you should be able to tell, like, right off the bat what they do so that you can build a team to synergize well with each other you can't just like look at a tier list you put in all the s strength units and then expect your team to work um, it doesn't work like that yeah so that's about all for team building yeah let me know what you guys think whether i'm right or wrong yeah i think that's about all also make sure you guys do your daily hidden potential Ah, no, sorry, your talent. Um, the potential thing as well, so remember to do. The Awakening Trial. Yeah, make sure you build up your materials, even though if you have no units that you can as ascend now to two pink stars, just farm this every day, you will need this in the future. 
and of course the talent perfection so aim to I know the daily quest gives you I mean ask you to do three a day but I usually do five to even eight so that I have enough coins to upgrade my talents because the other quest daily quest is you have to upgrade your talents twice yeah so I find that sometimes using just three runs you won't have enough coins to upgrade the talent yeah so I do five to eight and then yeah now I think I'm going to spend my vitality on conqueror challenge battles and oh yeah I forgot to use up my energy as well so yeah I think that's about all for the video I hope you guys have a good weekend oh it's already Tuesday oh it's already Wednesday oh. <laughs> okay time flies but yeah looking forward to the weekend again I'll see you guys next time um, if you like the video make sure you hit the like button also subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you won't miss future videos and I'll see you guys next time